Oh, right, today we're going to try and light this fire without using fire lighters. Uh, let's go and see what's, let's see what happens. Right. See what happens. See if we can light this fire without using fire lighters. Is it working? Is it lit? Is it lit yet? Is it going? Tell me if it's going. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ugh. Is it going yet? Is it going? Is it going? Is the fire going? It's not fucking going, you're Dublin! Oh, you fell! You dumb fuck! Go in a fire lighter! Do you have any fucking paper in here? Ugh. You silly fool. That's not working, is it? Um, oh shit! Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to use the fire lighter. Yes, the fire starter. What we do is we we put this like that. Here we go. Alright, so that's that fire lighter in there. Um, so what we now do is put that in there like that. Alright, so this. That. I need some thin wood. Some dry thin wood. So I failed, I failed in my bid to light the fire without using fire lighters. Okay, well I need to get some paper, my friends got some paper, I keep forgetting to get it off them. I've even got paper myself probably, well, I've got a roll of paper but I was going to use it for something. Oh, now it's going. Now it's going. Definitely going now. It's definitely going now. Sounds 
Sasha Auerbach. Well, it is a nice Austrian name. And it fits in quite well with Scottish lingo, actually. Auerbach. We can say that very easily. Don't know, I don't know why. It's fucking miles away from Scotland. Right, it's not really, right, it's across the North Sea. It's English Channel. A geography lesson. So it's going. The fire is going. You've got it going. You genius. Oh wow, it's roaring now. Wow. Wow. Is it going? Okay then, it's going. <sighs> Life goes on, so to say. Okay, so let's uh, uh, definitely go on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to shut it. Build up a bit of, bit of um, yeah, I think we could shut the door now. It will burn away nicely. Right, there's some pretty bad news. My friend Jack died on Tuesday. And there, uh, that's um, a jam man. A jam man died during COVID. On the left, Jack's on the right. Um, I think he was 77 or something, 76, he was some guy, so that's, oh shut up, mentor pilot, shut it, right, so that's, that's Jack, well it's not Jack, that's a picture of him, he gave me that, uh, that canvas, it was, it was his partner gave me it, and uh, I did a portrait on him. I think he was quite chuffed that I did it actually. He was some guy in uh, Jack, yeah, that was taken from a photograph I took around 2014, 13. He was a alright guy, he put up a lot with me, I tell you, he really did. Um, a lot of, he put, he, I was sort of working with him on Saturdays when I was around him. Um, I not exactly working with him, but it was, and he, I was at my worst at that period of my life. MD had put up with me then, and he did. But he was just kind of daft himself anyway. I think that was probably why. So he died on Tuesday, so that's very, uh, very sad. Yeah. He was he was someone else. Like, he, would slack, he would drive you absolutely mad. He's the type, he was the type that would take the keys out of your car or something and hide them. <laughs> he did that to me. <laughs> you know, things like that. And he'd fucking drive you and it, he would piss himself laughing when you get really angry and everything. <laughs> it was sucking unbelievable. He was actually quite... He, he, he mellowed out a bit as he got older, but he'd been really annoying when he was younger. <laughs> Dodgy as anything. From Newcastle. Wall's End. From New Wall's End. Market trader. Uh, okay, I mean, he used to, he was out every day, market trading. Uh, sad, didn't it? 4363, 4358. Right, so I found out, good news. 4363, that my, um, let's <sighs> Uh, what 
what have you found out? That. What have you found out? Other problem is tip, yeah. It's more bureaucracy, isn't it? They want us to go and book online and everything. And apparently you can do it by phone. Um, so there's a... There's a... Petition. I don't normally sign petitions, but... I've, it's just more shit. More shit. Right, so good news in the Volkswagen. Uh, MOT on 24th of March. 2025. So my van is emptied, but I'm wanting to ask them to have a look at the glow plugs. So that could be a bit of an issue. You know, glow plugs. So uh, that's a new one that I want to try. It's on Sunday. Dalgetty Bay car boot sales. I think I'll go there on Sunday because Falkirk's not on. So that might be worth doing. It's only just the other side of the other side of Edinburgh. It's um, just the other side of Edinburgh, Keithen. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, what else have you got going about in your pathetic channel update? Calm down, Drama Queen. Ooh! Wow, wow, wow! Calm down. No, I'm not calming down. I, I, and what road do they do instead? Spend absolute months and months through suffering. The one outside Butte House. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talk about the the main focus with this video. The majority of comments, are not really the the driving. It's the road, the road surface. Oh my god! Oh, it's all about road rage! They're trying to take them and then they thought they'll overtake them. Sweet car, that's not the other day. Wow, so it's yeah, the road that, that most oh people are oh, it's all about road rage. going on about. Somebody to said to me I was going too slow. Uh, so it's a 40 there. I think I was doing about 30. Bear in mind, I had the van and I just pulled out of that camo. I just pulled out of camo road. Oh, look at that, what's going on here? Um, oh my god! Oh, it's all about road rage! They're trying to take them and then they thought, no, we'll overtake them. Sweet car, that's not there today. Ah, <sighs> right. Alva Galvanter. I'm not mistaken, it's actually L300 WCM. Oh yes, but I, love, I love bus spotting videos. More videos I'm not mistaken, it's actually L300 WCM that we came in on the 978. Anyway, I need to go to the bathroom, so more videos come on. I'm not mistaken, it's actually L300 WCM. That's a brilliant, uh, that's a brilliant show that, isn't it? <laughs> Get, um, I'll have to watch you because he is the next guy. Right. Okay then. Right. I also like. I also like them. I also support a fellow YouTuber. Uh, well, there's not much going on in the desert. Um, content. How did you. I thought you, I thought you updated the. The, t the title of that, uh, Site of Scientific Special Interest. Yeah, it's such a lot of shit that, uh, it, it does, it actually does me, it makes me angry, I suppose, that, uh, that they would bullshit us. You know, that we're not allowed to touch wood. But they, they can rip it down just a mile away from here. And they're going to turn around and say that the wood that they've knocked down at Corby Wood isn't of special scientific interest. You know? Uh, 
you know. So that's my main. Uh, and they were on a bit of a high. You know? Glasgow girls is explaining what how I feel because yeah. he lives in Glasgow in and the trees are blown down and they're told so that they can't ago. touch them. You know, and the reason is it's it's green dogma is the reason. Green dogma, uh, and it's come through to the councils. It's regardless of which council it is, Conservative, Labour, whatever it is, the green dogma has crept in. You know, so you and me are not allowed to pick up a bit of wood on a in a wood because it's of sign. Special scientific interest. That's bullshit, right? And yet a mile away from there, this is uh, this is uh, this this photo here, this one. Only a mile from there, they're, they've ploughed it all, r cut them all down, ploughed it all, bulldozed it. Sorry, not ploughed it, and um, uh, scientific interest. I bet you built houses on here, given half the chance, wouldn't you? Um, so I kind of get people will say, well, definitely. to me, well, that bit they're you not would. touching, so that I know you would. ranger or whatever, there's a, it says on that, that thing, um, there's um, a, a ranger. Definitely, you would, definitely. There, I'll freeze it. Sajid is now my Nature Scott under the Nature Conservation Scotland Act 2004 to intentionally or recklessly damage the protected features of an SSS. -S -S -S. <laughs> it is an offence to remove without landowner's permission. Green Space Ranger Team Stirling Council. So, so we're not allowed to pick up a couple of bits of wood. However, only a mile from there, they're bulldozing fuck out of the land, right? Corby wood. Um, trees all cut down, bulldozed. And now they're filling the place full of concrete and they're building about a thousand, I don't know how many houses, I'm just guessing, a thousand. It's a huge area. And uh, of course that's okay. You know, that wasn't of scientific interest. Um, so I don't get how that, this is scientific, of special scientific interest. And yet, I'm just half a mile away. I think it might be a mile and a half. It's probably a mile. It's not of special scientific interest. So, because they're building houses on it. So, my point is that they would build houses there. And the reason they're not is because it. Um, that's not too awkward to build them there. That's too much. You know, it's, it's always follow the money. So, this is just b bullshit being visited upon us. By the from the Greens, so we've got this weird dichotomy where the so-called Greens they are destroying our planet, they're destroying our our environment. It's weird. It's a weird dichotomy. It is. It is really weird because the things that they're doing are destroying it, and they're putting out and they're taking our freedoms away. Any freedoms we had, they're they're gradually getting taken away by this green ideology, but. The elephant in the room nobody wants to say anything about is, well, there's two elephants in the room. One's immigration, the other's, um, well, three. There's feminism, immigration, and um, what's the other one? House building. It's house building. Why, why are we building so many houses, you know? And I said, so, well, we don't really want to go there. I don't want to mention immigration because it's a taboo subject. So um, that's what's happening, uh, but I'm not allowed to pick up a bit of wood. You know, I probably get, I'll end up getting locked up or something. Some crime against the century, crime of the century. You know, I mean the trees are are earmarked for ones that are liable to fall down. You know, so really, on the one hand, they don't want them falling on top of the public. You know. Because really, you think, well, if it's natural and na if it's supposed to be natural, you shouldn't be cutting them down. You know, so why why cut them down? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, it's windy, isn't it? Uh, so I've been there for about three days. So I can't come in here. Bluebell Woods is closed. Uh, I like the sign writing on the van. 
Probably cut it's them down perfectly a lot. Uh, clear uh, what they do. I've got the other. Uh, hey, welcome to the channel. I've got the other video. Taylor Shees. Oh, I'll just have a a bit of a look. Not too much. Uh, tree cutting. You know, if it's supposed to be, if it's a site of special interest, why are they cutting trees? You know, why are they cutting the trees down? Well, it's because they don't want them to land on top of the public. You know, so there's a weird thing going on. You know, so they've got them cutting all these trees down. That's not that's not natural, is it? For for trees to be cut down with chainsaws. That's far from natural. But, so this is the weird sort of thing. So they just twist things, whatever suits them. So it's not natural for anyone to take the wood away and burn it to keep warm. But it's natural for them to wear their fucking chainsaws and cut them down. And they tell us we've got to leave them. Alright, stop mumping about it. Um, comments. Oh, I think, does this deserve, um, old, um, I like drama. I actually would like to do drama. See what people try to do? They need to bully, well, bully's a bit of a cliche. Um, to, it's like, we are just apes, I suppose, you know. So really, somebody like this needs support, probably, you know. And a lot of them, they do their wee smiley faces and everything. When they're ripping the piss out, they think they're ripping the piss out of me. Um, um, so, I'm going to lie here. Attended University of Stirling. Drama course. It was a bit of a drama. I tried not to make a drama out of it. I am also, I also, I also attended the Freddy. Mercury Appreciation Society Monthly Meetings Every Wednesday So there you go, that explains the drama and the Queen. Right? Um, that, that, that's a perfect explanation. So, I mean, that's, you know, you can't get much better than that. I mean, that looks like a piece of art itself, doesn't it? Like a big finger or something really pointing. Right, so let's have a deal with drama queens. Uh, no, I'm the drama queen, sorry. I forgot. Drew! 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 Seven videos! Snuts, Usher Hall, Edinburgh, end of the road. The Snuts, what's the Snuts? James, Big Top, Edinburgh, Underdog, Liam Gow, Underwall. So it's all music stuff. Uh, Exciting. Right, so we're at 4363. Uh, please, uh, please like, share, and have a. And so, very sad, my friend is gone. I haven't seen him for about. I left. 
I left in 2020. I left uh, Scottish Borders. Uh, I used to he used to go to hike every Saturday. Hike. Uh, that painting was. Na- There's a lot of qualities about it. When I'm looking at it now, I sort of think I could do a bit more work, you know. Um, you know. Um, so then I says, I remember him saying to me because I was moving up, moving on. I was moving from the borders. I lived in Galashiels. I was moving up to Stirling. And he says, ah, you'll not be back. You know, and he, he was kind of right, really, because... But I did... I, when I moved up here, um, maybe that's that thing when you live somewhere, you don't quite, like, go right away. So what I did was I went back down to Hoyk on a Saturday with a van. It's quite a drive. You know, it was a bit of a drive, but for a while I did that. And uh, it did quite well. Uh, Hoyt Market. I, s- I went down, slept in the van. And that would be 2021. You know, I went down there. Um, I'll take the car down, but... I remember I'm saying, yeah. And I went to Newcastle, and I went I went down to England. And that's the last, the last time I, I was at Hoyt was... I could actually probably work it out. I think it was October... 21 I went down to England and I had said to them that that I was going to go to uh, no actually I went down to see them in November I think it was and I said to them I was going to go down to uh, England Newcastle area and I stayed no no, no, that, no that, it was Cord Bridge and that finishes in October it was October the last time I seen Jack was October I think it was October 21 so it's now 24 and uh, obviously, you know, not really worth going down. You know, I I just moved, started going to Corn Exchange in Edinburgh, which was closer, and things took off from there. You know, and that's how it worked. So I haven't seen them. Um, I haven't seen them. So that's it. That's what happens in life. You know. So at least I've done a painting of them. Uh, it's quite a weird painting. Uh, oh, some guy, huh? He was the funniest guy. Um, like, <laughs> it was hard to really explain what he was like. There's a lot of them like that. I think Geordies are like that. They're just fucking daft. You know, he was quite. Oh, I don't know if it's the wrong thing to say. He was quite. You know, they used to sell their fags and that, you know. And, but I don't think that. That's a tax thing. You know, I don't really see that as a crime. Uh, it's a tax evasion. Made quite a lot of money doing that. I think that's what kept him going. Uh, but he was a great guy. He yeah, was. There was something... You you would feel like you ought to punch fuck at him. He would do that to you. He'd wind you up. And I learned a lot from him about... You know, markets and stuff. And, but people are people and they're tragic. He was in the... I think he was in Iraq and everything. He worked, or is it Iran? I oh, worked in Iran. That would be in the seventies. Managing a factory. There's a lot of people that did that. Um, but that's that's just sad. I'll have a look at Jack's pictures later. Uh, we'll go have a look at the other one. Uh, oh, look, the fire's doing nice now. That's a nice stall. He's a market stall, you know. Uh, the jam man muscled his way in, got rid of me, because Jack used to pay him 40 quid to store the, you know, and um, the jam man got right in there, but he got, he the jam man sold jam, and under the Covid laws, he was able to carry on working, because he was selling food, and he got Covid and died, having the left. Uh, it was quite... He was a fucking weirdo, that. Jack was brilliant compared to him. The jam man was a fuck. That's Brian. Brian Lacey. On the left. And Jack's name... Well, I know it. He wasn't actually called Jack. called Edward Walker. I think it was Edward. We used to call him Mr. Walker. 
Some guy, like, honestly. What a character. I actually feel a bit guilty now that I didn't go back down after, you know, the last, well, it was 2022, basically two years. It's two years since I've seen him, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There's some guy, I'm like, he's unbelievable. When I transitioned, you know, when I went, I decided that I was a, a female, um, I changed and I went back down there and he fucking took, he took the piss out of me, but it wasn't in a nasty way, it was, it was, you know, in a good way. That's the thing about people, real people like him. Um, the, the, the LGBT types don't understand humanity or the Greens. He's a he was a real person, and he would, and they're decent people. You know, I know they're they're dodgy, yeah, but they're decent. And he took the piss out of me, but it was in a nice way. You know, it was it wasn't nasty at all, and it was difficult for him because I was such an awkward bastard when I went there. And I had a lot of trouble with people, and it was my fault, some of it. And and Jack managed it really well. He really did. And he he, he did cope with us all, you know, because there was another one turned up, <laughs> another daft one, the old transgender thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, he handled it quite well. And that you just have to tolerate bampots. You know what I mean? You can't really do much else. You can't fight them. You can't get rid of them either. <laughs> so so he just was the type of person that got on with it. On with the, goes with the flow sort of thing. So it's like my it's like my choice type thing. But it wouldn't have been his, you know, and he was right, because it was a stupid thing. But like even my dad was like that actually couldn't really tell you what to do, you just did it anyway, it's a very difficult thing, um, but anyway, that was very tragic, right, thanks for watching this video, please like, share and subscribe, bye, rest in peace Mr Walker.